Okay, so you guys didn't see the major cutscene at this point in time. Um, I was right, <laughs> but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the clip to to the um, I'm gonna add the clip into the beginning of this episode that we're doing right now and so you guys can see what I'm talking about so hang on tight tight and we're back <laughs> I was right he Shay was Mog Chakra and when he was saving the girls he was really killing them and when we shot Shay in the face with the laser that was her and, and when Shay got kidnapped, or when we thought he got kidnapped in that one video when we switched over to Vela, that was us shooting him in the face with the laser. Like, mind blowing, right? <laughs> that is so cool! Like, oh my god, my mind is so blown right now. So, since we followed Vela over here, I guess. We can follow Shay the rest of the way on his on this chapter, because I believe this we're just gonna call this chapter two now. But man, talk about a mind blow, right? But let's go. Look, his dad. Son, son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a This flag. That girl. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. Wait, what the what now? Whoa. been an accident and your mother is still trapped my mother but you're, you're not she's really yes she's really in there and no i'm not going to leave her behind we're going to get your mom out of here my mom i know we haven't seen you much in person lately it's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or 
from what I thought was a ship in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is your mom's still inside the thing and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? Mind blow, right, Shay? But Shay, I was sorry to tell you this. You gotta go this way. I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's been a while since I thought of them that way. So, if we weren't actually in space, where were we? Hey, it's her! Oh, they got the fishing thing back. Hold on, let's go talk to girl. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Hey, Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. What are you doing? What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. He <laughs> lives in the cloud. Not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mod Chopper? Yeah. Good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. Did you say Mog Chakra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? Ah, from what? Their loving families? Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. <laughs> I was right! Like, like, you have no idea how happy I am about being right, right? Look, it's, um, it's those things. Hey, it's one of my Hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. Uh, oh, we still got all those things back. I don't think I can fix him with a crochet hook. But let's go talk to that one dude. Wow. Looks like something really hot happened here. Let's see if he's okay. I mean, I know Shay doesn't know him, but we do. So let's go find out. And if I'm right about this too, oh, I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> what the? That outfit. How much you want to bet I'm right? How much you want to believe I'm right? Are you? Are you? Me? From the future? Are you me from the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Cool. Yeah. Our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Wait, who's Shay? We're Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. You didn't huh? grow up on the Bathanostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, then we're not. Yeah, I guess not. Huh. That's a relief? Yeah. Wait, wait. Dang. Why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean that. Nothing. So. so why are you dressed like me? Dang it! Wasn't right. Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, in what I thought was a spaceship, but then it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Maluna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. If I can get the ship fixed. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about? Hmm. So, wait. No one knows that the ships are actually evil creatures eating girls? Where the heck did they come from? Because they weren't always this way. How are you going to get the ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, he'll take me back to the previous destination. As long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Is your mom really into knitting or something? 
Mine was all about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. Huh. So they had different themes. We were star we were knitting, he was music. Interesting. Very weird, actually. My ship crashed down on the beach. Did you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um yeah. Why? Well, I might have actually shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of wrote her one. Mog Chothra. Have you seen the moon? What's it like? No idea. I was born on the ship, and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly, it's dying. So why do you want to get back there? Dying or not, home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into Chrysalation. But hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows, I might have some other family there. Huh. Why did they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live. But maybe we were actually looking for something else, and we just didn't know it. Hmm. Hey, did you... Did you have a strange wolf on your ship who told you to hack the controls? I, uh, I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. Dude, seriously. Come on. Hey, tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I started hallucinating that my cello was talking to me. It would walk around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. <coughs> Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. What? But you know I just made that up. No, no, I, I had a Merrick too. He wanted us to rescue him. Or capture him. Girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. You need any help getting your ship running? Do I wow, Merrick's the one that's been making us kill people, so we weren't always that way. This Merrick person came on each ship and had them kidnap people. Probably to Laruna on auto Oh. This pirate Bella. Is that? Is that me from the past? No, Adam. This is Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volk. Pleasure to meet you. His ship crashed here too, and now he wants to Does go back. Does everybody look the same? Well, I'll be. We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son, I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Yeah. That's my dad. Cool. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm, haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And, gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Wow, that's a lot of stuff we need to get. Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually, I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional. I'll tell you what. What was it about your guards' outfits that made you think yeah, this? I think they were. 
Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shield and glass curtain. Oh. What's a superconductive gyro what's it mean? A superconductive gyroscopic hyperscan. A small but critical part of the ship's controls. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Okay, I'll see if I can find one lying around. I feel like I've seen so it before. What kind of help do you need with the wiring? I need an electrical genius who can get into small spaces, knows how to solder, and who can memorize circuit boards with a grin. Okay, yeah, that's not me. I'll find somebody. Okay, see you later. Okay. How about this little guy? Did he help? On my ship, they were good at fixing all kinds of things, especially electronics. Incredible. Much more advanced than the units I'm used to. It's probably exactly what we need. Looks like we need some rewiring, and that tech is way beyond me. Hmm. I don't think I can fix him with a crochet hook.